welcome back to Universe X. And uh, for this episode, we are going to talk about the King Vegeta stuff that we've got so far. Of course, more of the archetype will be uh, spoiled on, I believe, Friday. And so on that day, actually tomorrow, we're going to get some more of the red cards. And then on uh, Friday, we're going to have like the full spoilers. So uh, I might just actually do like a follow video. I think tomorrow we're definitely going to touch on the Bojack stuff, see what's going on. And then uh, we're going to, there's just a lot of content. Like there's, there's just going to be a lot of content. So um, <clears throat> when it comes to this, I have a lot of interesting things to say. Uh, maybe not all that flattering, but we're gonna see where it shapes up. Um, right before we jump into it, as per usual, thank you guys for the support. Uh, the road to 1K still going strong, and um, we got a lot of good things planned. A lot of content. Uh, we got some giveaways lined up. I mean, right now we are in the middle of a metal leader giveaway by Spiral Maui Graphics. Make sure you look in the description. Click on that, uh, look at the video. All you gotta do is sub to the channel, like his Facebook page, and uh, comment on the video, and you'll have a chance to win one of those beautiful metal cards that we're actually showcasing that video in like really, really stunning clarity, but are also just right here. So, that being said, think about joining the Facebook channel, great, great community, and uh, the link to that will be in the description, as well as the link to my Discord. Now that that's out of the way, um, <clears throat> uh, Red, they're, they're changing up how the spoilers happen uh, this go around. It's kind of weird. It's kind of jarring, kind of throwing me off. But I'm still going to work with it to the best of my ability. Um, the first card we're going to talk about here is the leader. King Vegeta. And this is King Vegeta BR, so just know that. Um, auto. When this card is placed in your leader area, activate up to one young invaders from your deck. Auto. When this card attacks, look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one mono red sand card with an energy cost or five or less among them and add them to your hand. <clears throat> then, awaken when your opponent is uh, your opponent's life is at four or less, you may draw one card, switch up to one of your energy to active mode, add cards from the top of your life to your hand until you have five left, and then flip this card around. All right, we got cool things to talk about as soon as we finish his backside. Pause. So we got King Vegeta, Head of the Sand Rebellion. Um, permanent, reduce the combo cost of all red sand cards with 500 power in your hand by one. Um, <clears throat> auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. Uh, auto, once per turn, when the, power, uh, when the power of one of your opponent's cards is decreased, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and gain the minus 10,000 power for the turn. Okay, so. There's a couple things that are interesting about this guy. Because his backside effect and his frontside effect don't really look like they like really correlate with each other remotely. But um, an interesting thing is he's going to awaken off of your opponent's life. So automatically you know off of that there's got to be some sort of burn cards in the deck. Because if there's not burn, some cards like, some decks like blue will be able to infinitely keep you off of your awakening. And that's not Gucci. Um, then you're going to have the field card. So you're going to see how integral that field card is. And then the other thing, though, that is cool, the only thing on the front side leader that I do like, is that um, he's able to look at the top five cards for red sand. Now, there are plenty of cards that fit in this. I mean, you can get things like Unbreakables. I know nobody uses them, but Unbreakables, um, you can, if we can find a red super combo that's a sand, I'm sure we can. The Raditz. The Raditz is literally a sand. Kid Raditz, mind you. Raditz BR. Like, you can find that off of this guy. So I'm definitely digging that. This guy can literally tutor his own super combo to his hand and that just isn't something that should be ignored. Um, then, when you look at his backside, um, he's gonna reduce the combo cost of all red sands to the cost of 500 power in your hand by one. Um, you don't have to even try to look. I already looked up the database and there aren't any. So all of them are gonna come in this set. And uh, in these couple cards that we're gonna look at, there's only one. So, no, two I think. One or two. And so we're gonna have to see what the rest of the set holds. Um, no, it says, uh, when the power of one of your opponent's cards is decreased, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and gain the minus 10,000. This is interesting, because if you have a card that procs a minus 5k, and this guy procs, that's minus 15k. That's solid removal early game. If you have something minus 10, you can minus 20 something, that's also solid removal. So this guy actually may just be able to, kind of with the help of other cards, once per turn just remove something. So I'm kind of interested to see where his archetype goes. The next card we have here is um, King Vegeta, Hidden Ambitions. So this guy is actually going to be a very 
odd card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4,000, man. Couldn't be me. Anyway, this is an SR. Counter, counter. If the leader card in... Uh, if your leader card and all of your energy are mono red and your opponent has three or more energy negate the counter skill of an extra card with an original cost of one that was activated without paying its energy cost and then play this card um, activate main for one red if uh, your leader card is a red sand card and you place this card in the owner's drop area play up to one mono red Vegeta's lineage card with an energy cost of three and 10,000 power or less from your deck and shuffle your deck okay so this is actually interesting because it's going to cheat out um, just a card. I think right now we do have a card that can fit under that, but all in all, <clears throat> so far this isn't anything necessarily special. I'm going to check real quick just to make sure I'm not getting slid by my own machinations. Um, we're back. Um, you can't search Vegeta's lineage on the site, so Bandai, you might want to get on that. But um, as far as I know, this isn't actually cheat out anything great right now, so we're going to actually have to see what else is in the set. However, um, it's kind of interesting. People are buzzing about the counter counter effect and the counter counter effect is going to hit things like dormant that gets played for free, sparking the gates that get played for free. But that allows your opponent to play around. Like if you're playing against red and it's a red sand leader, are you really going to just use sparking at a turn where you think it's going to get destroyed by one open red energy? I don't think so. So it's kind of hit or miss to me. I'm really wondering if a card like this can even find its way into the meta. Cause once it comes into board, it doesn't do something not generic. You have to bring out a Vegeta's Lineage. So we really need to see how that shapes up as well. Overall, awkward card. Definitely need to see more to see where it goes. Um, next card, Vegeta the Young Invader. Unique auto. When this card is played from your life, or right, when this card is played, if your life is at five or more and your opponent's leader card is a red King Vegeta BR, place one card from your life into the drop area, then draw one card. Auto, once per turn, when one of your cards is attacked, choose that card and it gains minus 5,000 power for the battle. Okay, so. It's a huge one-two punch. Clearly, this is made to be played onto your opponent's side of the field, so that when you swing with uh, anything, okay, and your opponent has a battle card out, you swing with that battle, or you swing on that battle card, this guy on your opponent's field will trigger, activating his minus 5k, and then King Vegeta, once per turn, will trigger, giving it minus 1,000. So depending on, and now unfortunately, this is on the card you're attacking. So it's going to weaken it. But then again, that's kind of neat because you will bring, you can bring 30Ks down to 15K and swing on them for neutral with your leader. So that's not terribly bad, but this guy is clearly meant to be played to your opponent's side of the field. And it's very interesting that five or more, he can drop your opponent down to four just by being played. Um, he is unique though. So you, you have to destroy him or kill him with your own card effects to try to put another one on board. So that part is fairly interesting. Um, still, he's 500. Uh, it's still odd to me I need to see more cards but then you've got the field card the field card that's going to be a staple a centerpiece for this deck if your leader card is a uh, King Vegeta BR card um, at the end or start of your opponent's turn play up to one red sand card with 500 power from your deck to your opponent's battle area and shuffle your deck if you played a card and uh, if you played a card you can't play battle cards that aren't red sand cards for the turn Activate main once per turn, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then play up to one red sand card with 500 power from your deck in rest mode with its skills negated for the game. Um, interesting. Then shuffle your deck. Then you have activate main once per turn red. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and gain minus 5,000 power. So I don't like the activate main red because that's like a M2 except in the main phase but for one energy so that just feels inherently bad. Um, that being said, I do like how auto, yeah, you can you can play that Vegeta. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that since it's Young Invaders and not Young Invader, um, we might get like a Raditz card that's also a child, also 500 attack, has a different effect on your opponent's board. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if we got a Nappa that, uh, that was able to be cheated to your opponent's board, also part of the Young Invaders. So, I'm interested to see where this goes, but Blue seemed to have at least three SRs. I believe it was three on the dot. Uh, we've only seen two for red. We've seen Bardock, who's the main boss of that deck, and we've seen this counter Vegeta. So I wouldn't be surprised if we either had like an SR King Vegeta that actually did work, or maybe even an SR um, like Prince Vegeta, who's a full adult, who still is like maybe the top end of Vegeta's lineage. So 
I'm very interested to see where this goes. Right now, it's kind of weird. I'm not sure what they're getting at necessarily, but um, we're definitely going to find out. Um, since 500 is something that hasn't really been done in the game before, to the point where you can't even search 500 power on the website, neither can you search Vegeta's lineage, completely in the dark here about how this deck could work out in the future. So I definitely need to see the new cards. Uh, Thursday we'll shed some light, Friday we'll close it up, and we'll come back and see the next kind of iteration, like what we feel about the deck. So um, yeah, right now a lot of the stuff doesn't really come together, it doesn't really play nice with a lot of other things, so I'm very interested to see how this shapes up in this contained archetype. So let me know in the description, or wow, the description, the comments, what you guys think, um, what your feelings are about the deck. Let me know, we can start a conversation. Um, and if you wanna talk about it further, just hop in the Discord and talk, and people will talk back, I promise. So, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys the next time you decide to join Universe X. Later.